Big weekend, of course, with a Northwest Derby on the soccer front. Harps taking on Derry City for a place in the quarterfinals of the FEA Cup. The match is live here on Highland on Friday night. Full match commentary in association with BNS Credit Union Main Street in Balba Fife. Jeremy Doherty is the commentator and the co common match analyst. Analyst once again will be former Harps and Derry City and Sligo Rovers man Declan Boyle, who joins us now. Declan, good to see you again. Cheers, Ashi. Thanks very much. Looking forward to the match at the weekend. There's a great excitement about this game, uh, Declan, particularly when Harps are going under the tie off the back of two excellent results and probably the most impressive performance of the season against Pats last time out. Yeah, very impressive performance against St. Pats. Um, I, I thought from start to finish they were very good, even though uh, they got a they scored, Tony scored his fourth goal, and then St. Pat's kind of scored straight away from a penalty spot, which I thought was a soft penalty against Barry McNamee. But even from that bit of a setback, they pushed on from there and, and were very good throughout the whole 90 minutes. And, and Tundi Alavi scored as good as a hat trick as I've seen it from Park in a long time. And his overall performance just terrorized um, St. Pat's defense. And considering that St. Pat's uh, and Stephen O'Donnell changed his back uh, four or five different times just to try to counteract Tundi. Um, that shows you how good he was. And if he can replicate that sort of form um, on Friday night, he would cause a lot of problems with the city back four or five even. Yeah. And at times, of course, Harps have, have struggled to take victories against Derry City. But already they laid down a marker in the first part of the year, Declan, where they won for the very first time in the club's history at, at the Brandywell. They'll take confidence from that. They're going to take confidence from the, from the recent run as well. This is not a game that, that, that Harps are going to be shying away from. Absolutely, and even even on the two uh, one victory for Derry City and Flint Park earlier in the season, where Will Patchen scored from a penalty spot and a free kick, I thought Derry City were lucky to get out of there with three points because the Harps' performance was excellent on the night again and probably deserved to get something out of the game if not three points. So yeah, listen, there's no doubt about it. Harps are in really good form, um, and the last results have been excellent. Obviously, getting three ones on the bounce really helps. This is obviously uh, a week where they don't have the concert in the leagues on the cups, an opportunity to get into the quarterfinals, uh, potentially as well with some of the other teams that are left in the draw. You, you could uh, get a nice uh, so soft, considering draw in, in the quarterfinals as well. So it's a big match for both clubs, and it's an opportunity to get into the, the last stages. And I suppose Derry will be looking for the same as well. Their overall performances have been very good. An excellent performance in Sligo with Ronan Boyce popping up and scoring a great goal just to get three points from them. So Rory Higgins has them really playing to a, a high level. They're getting results. So both teams coming on a good form. So it's just going to be who performs the best on the night. And I'm looking really looking forward to it. Yeah. How important is a cup run to both of these sides, Declan? Obviously, Harp's priority is staying in, in the top flight. Um, would there be maybe a quiet hope in the background of silverware coming on the cup front to, to, to Bala Buffet? Well, you flip it over to the other side, to, to the Brandywell and, and into Derry City. There's always an expectation there around the Brandywell of winning silverware. Yeah, I mean, I suppose in the Derry City side, they'll be looking to, with the squad they have and players-wise, they'll be looking to push on and, and get to the, to the lead stages and maybe to the semi-final and final um, you know, we know obviously with Shamrock Gores playing Bows, and that's one of the big teams going to be knocked out of there. Dundalk are still left in, in the competition, and it has been between Dundalk and Shamrock Gores in the last couple of years. But we know how the form of Dundalk hasn't been too convincing this year. So there's an opportunity for, for one club, and potentially uh, Derry City, where we'll be looking to maybe push on and get to the latter stages or into the final. And then once you're in the final, you have an opportunity to get in silverware. So Derry City will, will be totally focused potentially on that, but they'll be taking out one game at a time and they know how hard a match they will be in Fun Park on Friday night. On the Harps perspective, we're probably looking at, I suppose for me as a player, when I played, I, I was looking forward to these cup matches. It's, you know, you, your attention's away from the league. It's an opportunity to go out and perform um, against the teams around you. And it's a big match in Northwest Derby. As a player, you look forward to those matches all the time. Um, having the fans back in the stadium, there'll obviously be um, a small crowd from Derry City there as well. And that'll add to the atmosphere. So it's a big match for, for the players. And I suppose Harps will be looking to push on. And, and can we get into the semi final? It's been a long time since we've been in the semi final. And it'd be nice to be knocking the door uh, and be great for the club and, and supporters. Yeah, um, but really, Ollie Horgan with his priorities for the year, uh, Declan, would he have rather had a league game this weekend, maybe, so they could continue with that good form and keep the gap between themselves and, and, and the bottom two there or, or increase it? Or would it be a welcome distraction from Ollie's point of view? Yeah, listen, I suppose uh, every manager is different, you know. I mean, 
in regards to their league form, their league form has been good. Um, and you know, they'd probably rather play a league match, particularly when, when things are going so well and trying to keep add on, on more points and trying to put a bit of distance between themselves and Waterford and Dundalk is down there as well. We know that Longford are probably the team that will end up getting relegated as it looks at the minute. But so then you're looking at who's the team that will be in the playoffs and and you know this year of all years i think the first division is very competitive you don't want to be in the playoff positions because it will be very competitive you're playing against really good teams coming through and with a lot of confidence as well so yeah listen all you probably look at maybe that you'd rather play a league match but listen it is what it is and you've got to deal with it and uh, for me the players um i think the management as well will look forward to playing Derry city you know how good they are but um if they can produce the same sort of performance uh, as they did against St. Pat's, um, there's no doubt about it, they can get something out of this game as regards uh, a victory. But yeah, I think on the night as well, it could go to semi final, it go to extra time and penalties potentially as well if it goes on a level with the first round. So that'll obviously add a wee bit of excitement to it as well. And it might it might take to, to go into extra time or potentially penalties to separate yeah. both teams. Could could be a long night, but one thing getting into the game is Harps aren't shy of goals, Declan. They've been they've been finding the net and big Tundi will be looking possibly for another one or two. Uh, yeah, listen, I mean, I, I suppose our uh, last week's performance, uh, um, his performance was overall was brilliant, as good as performance I've seen at Fun Park in a long time. I uh, showed great composure. Three goals were uh, excellent finishes, and he has that pace. Um, and But we know that at times this season he's got opportunities and probably hasn't um, put them away. But uh, last week his form uh, and his, uh, I suppose his strikes and finishing were of pure quality. So if he can produce that sort of form, um against um Derry City. But listen, Derry City uh, last week they changed it up we and they went five at the back. So that'll be interesting to see will they do the same um in Fun Park. Um so and on top of that too, Owen Toll is probably for me one of the better center <coughs> center halves in the league and he'll be looking to to keep Tundi as quiet as possible over the 19 minutes or in into extra time. So yeah, that's an interesting game. Uh, a lot of ifs. Um obviously Derry as well uh, you know that since the last time they played in in, in Fun Park they battered and um, Jimmy McGonigal and, and also Junior, so they've got a real potent tread up top as well. So, yeah, listen, I, I do suspect there will be goals in the game, so it'll be interesting and, and who can, uh, I suppose, uh, concede the, the least amount of goals on the day will obviously win the game. Yeah, Just on a on a Derry point of view, Declan, um, earlier in the season we were talking about Derry staying out of the bottom two. Uh, it's amazing how things can turn around so quickly and now they find themselves chasing a, a European spot. Now, maybe they would have rather have a league game uh, this weekend, but Rory Higgins has, has definitely turned things around. Uh, even with the likes of Patching leaving the Brandywell, um, he's brought on a, a serious calibre of player and, and to the, into the team, so he has. And to be chasing a European spot so quickly after people talking about staying out of the bottom two has been, has been fantastic for them. Yeah, no, listen, hats off to him. You have to say that um, since he came out of the club and he got those two big results straight away, he beat um, Slagger Rovers in the showgrounds and then he went up to Dilly Mount and got three points up there. And he's just up from there, they just pushed on straight away. So you're after a flying start. And sometimes new managers come in and you get, a, you get a nice kick start from the new manager coming in and then slowly it fades away, but it hasn't. So they've kept that momentum going and they're driving forward. Um, yeah, listen, I suppose they've closed that gap between them seriously now and Sligo Rovers. Take it that Sligo haven't won six, uh, lost six games in the bounce in the league, so that gives them an opportunity to close in on that uh, very important European spot. So they have the goal, um, they've added players, they've lost players as well, and, and Will Patching has scored a lot of goals, and they get six or seven goals um, for them, and he went back to Dundalk, you know, so they've brought in Junior as well on top of that, and, and say Jamie McGonagall has come in as well, so they've added goals. And on top of that, uh, he's come in and he secured the futures of some of their bright players, young lads coming through as well. And the Patty McElhenney lined up for next year. And I wouldn't be uh, surprised if Duffy doesn't come with him from Dundalk as well. So they looked up to Valerie, but bit. They've extended the budget as well. So they're bringing better quality of players. So it's, it's looking very uh, rosy for, for Rory and Derry City going forward. Just finally then, is this the best time maybe for, for Harps to meet Derry in, in a cup competition given the, the, the run of form that they had and possibly another big result could be in the cards in favour of uh, the Fun Park boys? Well, listen, we're very optimistic. I would think that we can produce the performance. That It, it will take a, a, a big performance similar to St. Pat's one um, to get over the line. We know that obviously I think we played four times in the cup and Derry have beaten us on four occasions. But in the last while, to be fair to Ollie. 
and it's a management team they have got uh, good results and positive results against their in the last year or so so yeah listen all goes far for a uh, really looking forward to a big match uh exciting match plenty of goals hopefully plenty of entertainment um hopefully no red cards but we're looking for, for a big match but yeah if, if hearts can p- p- perform to the level they had against St. Pat's, they've got a real chance of getting getting through this uh big tie in northwest derby once again, full live match commentary on Highland on Friday night from the Cup Derby. It's Harps against Derry. Kickoff is at 8 o'clock on Highlands coverage in association with BNS Credit Union Main Street in Balbuffet. Check them out at bnscu.ie. Declan Boy, we look forward to what we hope will be a cracking derby. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Ashin.